Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to attach pretty much anything onto your model as long as it's sculpted to fit. Um, for today's example, I'm going to be using my Rex piercings, uh, the ones that go on the ears and stuff. So before we start, you should have um, dynamic bones, your model, everything in your scene and then whatever you're going to attach. So I have my piercing today. Take a drag and drop the prefab. Right click, unpack prefab. Drag and drop it onto your model. So if you go down in the hierarchy, see there are all these kinds of things. Um, today I will not be adding the nose piercing because you really should do that in Blender so it matches up with your uh, visines and everything. I'm just going to delete it. So expanding down in the hierarchy of the chain, the piercing set, you will see all of these bones here. Ears 2, ears 3, and you don't really have to worry about the end ones, they're just there to mark the end of the bone. And now in our Rex, we're going to find those bones, so they're going to be in the head. You see your ears, your one, your two, your three. And we're just going to play a little matching game. I like to start from the bottom, so your three L matches with your three L. Your two goes to your two. This is the right one. Super simple. And then the head goes to the head. And then you can just delete the armature. So once you've done that, you might think you're done, but if you go into play mode to test them, you'll notice that ears are going to do some wonky stuff. <laughs> like, that's, not, that's not how ears move. So we're going to go into the dynamic bones of the ears. So click on ear one. See over here there's an exclusions area, this little arrow here. All you have to do is take the bones, so you see the ones that you added, this is the one that you added, the ear 3R, bring it over and drop it onto the exclusions. You can see it disappeared, the little dots there. So for every single bone that you added, you want to add it to the exclusions of your thing here. And once you've done that, Go into play mode and test it. See everything's moving just how it should. You can do this for ears, things, clothing, any kind of accessory you want to add with multiple bones. 